Hello, me fixing everything. Nothing to be fixed today. So I want to show you um, a little review of a Samsung vacuum cleaner. Uh, I like this model, that's why I want to show you and I'm making the video for myself as well. The model number is SC52U6 and that's the 700 watt model there is one that looks exactly the same that's 1600 watts if you can take this one i think uh, they discontinued it because of the european union regulations so you can only take the 700 watt but if you can find the 1600 that's even better that's the sound levels annual energy consumption it comes with different uh, types of equipment. You can have a canister with it, or you can have different options on the front heads. You can have an option as a strap. So let's take a look. That's the vacuum itself. That's how it opens, it's backed. There is a back, there is a back filter as well. Everything is plastic. Nice little seal. Okay. The on off button, it's integrated in the power knob. And we know that this model at maximum is 700 watts. There is a indicator for a full bag the button for uh, the cable is integrated in the carrying handle it works nicely there is a back filter as well right here it's very light not very heavy, it's around, I would say, 3-4 kilograms. Let's see how long, how long the cable is. 1, 2 meters, 3, 4, 5, 6 meters of cable. Not bad. Not bad. Let's see gets a little tangled so it's uh, not the softest rubber you can get it's a bit stiff so maybe when it's cold weather it will be a bit harder on the spring to, to put it back there you go like in this situation you need to press it with your feet and then put it back in as you see not the best but for the money is okay. Now, that's the attachment. It feels a bit cheap. It's very thin plastic, so you might get a, a tooth broken after time, but for now it works fine. It plugs nicely in. It feels solid. We continue, and that's the opening for uh, when you vacuum your curtains. A little knob. Let's see. That's how it attaches to the hoses. There is option with this one. It's a cyclone option. And it, I would say it's perfect for vacuum, vacuuming stones and stuff like that. They all uh, stay in the plastic canister instead of uh, uh, going into the bag. So if you want to save on bags and you want to see what you're vacuuming, I would say that's perfect. There is no <clears throat> um, filters or anything with it. So just the heaviest particles stay inside the canister. Let's see how it opens. There we go, it's one hand. That's what is on the inside. 
Okay, we'll put it back together. Okay. Now, let's put the pipe back on. Now, the pipe itself, it's uh, some kind of painted metal. Yeah, it's metal. That's the way it goes, it extends. And then it's it's locking itself, so it's a pull mechanism. And also the head is optional. Let's have a look at the head. That's the flat one for uh, tiles, and that's one for carpets. I think. It's missing on brushes. I think it needs to have a lot more brushes and it only have these little plastic thingies. But it here, it's mainly used for tiles and hard surface, so it's uh, not that important. Now, there is one more attachment. This one for sulfurs and stuff like that, that got disintegrated. Uh, nozzle for tight areas as well. Let's see. That's how it sits. It sits solid. When you move it, it's not falling down. And I know that there is one more position. Just like this. And then it sits here, but when you even if you put a little bit of pressure on it, it, it might fall down. So the first way of sitting, it's a lot better, I would say. Let's see. There is one little wheel on the front, one on the back, and two on the side. Now I have an area of around 20 square meters. I will vacuum it and we'll see what I got in the canister. I can't say it's the most powerful one and I can't uh, tell you it's the best, but we'll see what it can do. It haven't been vacuumed for three days in here with two people leaving. So let's, uh, let's do some vacuuming. Okay, plug this in. Let's give it a try. All the way. I found very interesting to see what is inside while you're vacuuming. You can clearly see what you vacuum. Very interesting. even too strong for that little carpet in front of the bathroom. Let's continue with the tails. Okay, I will uh, vacuum the whole room. You can you hear the sound. It, it's not that loud, it's okay. So vacuum everything and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I'm done with the vacuuming. This is what is in the cyclone. What I can say, for around, uh, I think the price is around 70 or 80 euros. It's okay, vacuum for 700 watts. It's not the best, definitely. Uh, feels very plastic. And, uh, it feels very wobbly as well. It just, uh, it's just very wobbly, especially when you're using the cyclone and you put the pipe to the, to the longest distance. Look how long it is. Like, 
one meter eighty length just on the handle. Very long. But it can be adjusted so it's not such a big problem. There we go, that's like one meter fifty. For the average homeowner I think it's a good purchase if you can find the sixteen hundred watt model, even better. I hope the video was helpful to you. Like, subscribe if you like it. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.